Well, <laughs> nobody said it would be easy. God, that parry seemed so set, didn't it? It seemed like such a set deal. And then he stopped doing that horizontal attack that was really easy to parry. And started doing all these other ones, which is kind of awesome. I love that there's contingencies. I'm going to play the space game now, though. I had more success with it. One, two. That hit him. Oh my god, he's... I nearly, nearly got that. And then I was a retard. Interesting. He's got some cool dodges. I can get behind this boss. Oh, he's fucking fast though, isn't he? Haha, <laughs> not that fast though. What a fucking travesty this gay move is! I hate that move and I can't turn it off, I don't think. This is bad news. It gets rid of it though, you see that? It gets rid of his buff, but it chases you for a pretty long time. This is the one where you can do the dashing thing, isn't it? The stupid... Oh damn, that was cool. He's very fast and I'm not doing a lot of damage. Oh, he can do that as anyone then. When he feels like it, he can do that. Yeah, this is just a super solid fight. Like, a really capable opponent. You don't want to challenge that. It's not worth it. I don't know what that means. But it's not good. That's obvious. Should he really have armor through a lot of this? I don't think so. But he does, so we've just got to deal with it. I hate that move, dude. I hate that move so much. It. I can't crush his guard or anything. The guy's a fucking legend. It's Nobunaga Oda! It's just like Onimusha! Oh, it's cool. I'm happy with this. Even if I am getting my ass, I'm dead. Oh my god! This is it. iframes, though. Blessed iframes. And I, I couldn't get my charge because that move is really questionable. He likes to dash in this one. That's a good opening there. You'd think he'd have more recovery, wouldn't you? But he's like, I'm Nobunaga Oda, bitch. I don't need recovery. I eat recovery for breakfast. And that's a fucking really bad move. I don't like that. Whew. And he's out of it. That's the best time to hit him when he's changing. It really is. This is a... All the explode! Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, bad spacing. Should have rolled. It's not difficult to dodge. I'm just silly. So this is a Dark Souls fight, this. Because at the beginning, I can't do any Neo stuff to get him crushed and to keep him punished. Outside of getting lucky on a kick landing or getting lucky on um, a parry. So... I'm going to wait for him to transform, I'm going to hit the transformation, and then when he's transformed I'm going to counter hit every action he does, because I'm guaranteed to land it without him dodging away, because he can take it because of the armour he gets. He doesn't have armour in the first part, so instead he's got a really powerful evade. So it's like fighting a really douchey version of yourself. But I need to maximise damage at the beginning, because that's when my talisman is at its most finest. 
at its most finest. Is that good English? I can't tell. Probably not. Nobunaga Oda. I can't believe this guy's in the game. I suppose he always was going to be. I just never realised. Two, three, four. Really good dodge because he's a fucking bitch. I like it. All that stamina because I'm a bitch. See what I mean though when I say the punishers? Arguably the best time to do this. Here we go. Can I do this? Will that work? I know. Jesus. He's regretting that move, isn't he? What was with the range of that? And now he's out of it, of course. No. That was unfortunate. Two, three, four, five. Fucking beat dot, really? I die. Oh, is that the end? What? He wasn't a. Uh, I didn't kill him. Is it a multi tiered fight? He can't be the last boss, right? He's gonna be Kelly. Gotta slap around that mage, man. Watch this be a really good fight and then Kelly be super shit. That would suck. He's got like a samurai equivalent to the. Sword looked to be like the Thundercat sword for a second. What are you waiting for? Uh oh. Ah! Mutiny, bitch! I wonder if we earned his respect because we kicked him in a bit. That wasn't even his final form, guys. I saw any Mushi 2. That peacock looks sweet. I am so confused. <laughs> Can you imagine if this was the ending? You thought you'd bring me back and I'd do your business work, but that's not gonna happen. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for playing. He was a tea drinker and he liked to dance. Nobunaga's a beast. He was probably a dick back in the day, but he's pretty cool now. Fool of a samurai! You wasted my time! He did everything to get that guy, and then he just fucked off. That's kind of delicious. Best twist ever. Possessed by Tengen Kuyaku. Kujaku, sorry. I keep doing silent J's. I don't know why. Maybe it's Spanish that did it to me. Not that I'm very good at Spanish. That was it. God, that fight was cool. Did I even kill him, guys? Did I get his life down? I don't think I did. I, I was doing good damage because of the talisman, but I don't think I was hitting that hard. I love that fight, and when I get the parry timings, I'm going to ruin that boss. God, what a cool guy. Where does it go from here? I'm so confused. A shrine. Yay. Yay. Now we can face off against Kelly and shit in his mouth. And he's going to be a horrible boss that summons minions and, and sucks. So I'm going to level up to level 700 million because that's who I am. I might stop at 70 actually. I think that might be a clever idea for the game. Post game I'm going to level to 7 billion but you know. You didn't hear that here. Wow that goes up to 5? Why does that go from 1 to 5? Is it every so often they get a nice bump? Is key even useful? My second playthrough, folks, I ain't leveling heart once. Not even touching it. I think I'm going to do spirit and dex. Or, or spirit and um, and whatever does the sword, the single sword. I think I'm going to go single sword. There we go. 54 skill. Because I'm skillful, right, guys? That's what that means. I have 54 skill. I'm skillful, yeah? I thought so. Some of the items, too, I don't know what they do. 
I used the Kodama ball thinking it would find one of the hidden Kodamas I didn't find in the stage. A Kodama turned up and then it left and it achieved nothing. And I was very confused. Couldn't the shrine be up here? Could they really have not just put the shrine at the top? What has this game got against making you run upstairs? We're fighting him! Damn, it's Kelly! My baby! He missed. That was really well telegraphed, too. I don't know what's going on here. He's coming! Whoa, he's got Fist of the North Star moves. That's cool. And he throws uh, negative bullshit energy. He's got a spear. Oh, it's a grab, that's why. And it hurts, and it heals him. This is cool. This guy has to have seven phases, though. He's going to turn into, like, a super giant sea serpent monster but at the moment I'm liking everything I just saw let's do this I'm very confident today I don't know why maybe because I know that this is close to the end and it means that I've beaten a lot of the challenges the main game has to offer it's pretty powerful empowering feeling I'm gonna smack this guy with my sword now and see if it stun locks him hi panda It does. And this guy doesn't have the backflip either. So he's kind of fucked. Oh, he's got a royal guard though. Where the fuck did that come from? And a teleport. Teleportation. Oh, Kelly. You're too slow, dude. I can't believe this stuns him as he gets up and I can go immediately back into my combo and then he... He does like teleport grabs and it's a really bad mix-up because I can see it coming and I'm never near it when he does it. What is he doing? Wow, he's got good range. There you go. Was that no damage? First phase? I have more than enough Amrita, thanks to this spirit. Wow, why did the dialogue go so quiet? But he's a mage, isn't he? He's a mage, so he shouldn't be good at fighting me one-on-one. -on -one. I should win this. He should be good at magic and turning into a dickhead like I am a soup. Wow! How does he know he's going to land safely? <laughs> Just nose dives off an, a, a building. Not even this guy does it, and he's a crazy ninja. Oh, he's going to turn into Hydra or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's eight. Is there a legendary sea serpent in Japanese mythology called something cool? Oh, is it really Uroboros? Roboros. Oh. Yeah. There you go, Yamatano Orochi. Cool. Is this a checkpoint? I hope this is a checkpoint. Oh, we're under the roof! Finally! My ambition has been realized to stand on top of one of these Japanese roofy things and fight a giant, crazy, goofy eyed snake. It looks a bit like Beetlejuice in that Doom section. Okay. I can't see. See his face. Look at him. Dickhead. Damn. He roared. Sometimes raw means he's going to slam. Like this. Here we go. Oh, I can hit his necky bit. Cool. It's good to know. Can't block that. Seemingly. Right, game, this is the moment where you prove to me that you understand fundamental game design. Please understand fundamental game design. I am so terrified that this is going to be Kelly again. Dude, I don't want to do two bosses in a row. Oh my god, you have to. I'm so happy with this game! 
This game, oh, I could, oh, this game. I'm awing this game right now. This game is good, guys. This game is really good. Please play this game for that checkpoint alone. Ah, that was a bad evade. <laughs> I don't give a shit though. This is a good checkpoint. Oh damn, dragon breath. Ah, scary breath. He shouldn't like electricity if you think about it, right? Is he stunned? Oh no, that's one of the heads gone, I think. Do I really have to go across here? How do I get past the rock? Do I have to kill the Oh no. Uh, hi! Whoa! 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 Ghost lasers! Dude, this is hard. How do you watch this? Oh, they, they, they shoot stuff. Okay, there we go. So that one that one needs to die. Okay, I can't uh, kill it. Here it comes. Well, that's unfortunate. I have to practice my unlocked play, you see. They're both doing Psycho Breath? That's unfortunate. Uh, this is not my favourite thing I've done today. Surprisingly tough to punish. It's hard to keep your eye on this. This should have pulled out this, like, God of War. That's why God of War pulls out, if you don't know. It pulls out because it makes the most sense for this kind of scale. Damn, that was lucky. Look at him moving out of the way of the big hit! You racist Serpante! Thanks. Doesn't do the most damage though, does it? It's very restrained. In the grand scheme of things. That's crappy. Are they moving around? I can't tell. Can you please come here? Here we go. Something shooting me from. Really, dude? This is ridiculous. The melee is the stuff you want to uh, be careful of, be mindful of. Because it's the melee that really hurts. You can't seem to hit me with the fire though. This might be a little bit like Argo Sacks if you played Devil May Cry 2. You could stand in some places and they couldn't hit you too well. That was how you lived. The guy to my right seems to be able to hit me much better than the other guy can. But the guy on the left can't um, really do much it seems. So... Oh interesting, they're getting rid- Wow. Wow guys, this is crazy. I don't know where to look. <laughs> it's cool though, but it's 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 a little bit too much ninja guiding in, in the Soul series, which is making it. Oh, why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know why I did that. It'll it'll hurt. Obviously, it'll hurt this guy. I think. I could fucking hit him. With. Gimp. Best attack. I'm just gonna do standard triangles. Is he dead? No. He's... Come on, dude! Getting getting stunned by bullshit! Oh, the lightning is killing my stamina stuff! How the hell do you know damage this? When there's a million fucking dragons shooting at you at the same time. Oh, I'm stinking of shit, too! Which makes when I heal... I get punished, if you remember. There is a cure for that, though. It's called a good bath. Well, oh, I had a different buff on then. I shouldn't have done that. He's just a boy. I shouldn't have done that. That lightning one is casting lightning. I don't like that. Is he spitting again? No, he's going to bite. As long as you dodge from where you are, 
The other guys are not that bad. That even hit. Right. Or maybe not, I just ran into that then. I ran into the lingering hit. There was the stun. Shit. Oh, my movement's gone again. Negative edging rolls like a beast. It's not fun. Come on then, Lightning. Fuck off. It's really cheesy. I wonder if the gun is good here. Or maybe the bow, perhaps. So, on my other menu, I have the Shingoku um, healing items. So that's why I'm not worried about my life, if you're wondering. I'm going to try my best not to use it if I can. I think that would be really fun to... Uh... This is going to get kind of tricky. There you go. If you keep breathing like that, we'll be fine. Look how good the fire did, dude. Bait something really rangy. Make it hit me over here. He does the breath at range? Are you retarded? Dude, get to spec savers. It's not how you win. It's cowardly as fuck, but it'll work. It baits the other two guys. He's, there's the bite. Once again, this guy's depth perception is not his best attribute, it seems. If I'd have done Y then, I would have won him, and it'd be one less dude, but instead, I bitched it up. guys left and they're both chucking globs of energy at me. What do you do at range, dude? Oh, you fire more of those balls, eh? You backed out, you see that? There we go. Damn! Okay, I don't like you. I'm coming for you. Blue guy seems kind of nice. This guy's a dick. They're moving though, aren't they? This makes it kind of awkward. Missed. There we go. Can I get the other guy to... to smash the rocks? Why is he randomly stunned? I didn't do that. I don't feel like I did anyway. <laughs> I had to try. Wow, that guy's fucking aim is bullshit. That hit detection, though. You fuck off. What? He's like perfectly spacing me. He's out spacing the spacing expert. Why would he do that? Because <laughs> he don't want to die. I would do that if I was him. And I'm going to die now because he's going to melee attack me. Because of my range was bad. Fuck off, dude. You suck. Oh, well, look how Kelly got all crazy-fied. This might be important. He got his life back? That's not cool, dude. Interesting balls of every energy. Oh, my God. I have to dodge, too. The spacing battle is... is legit. It's not a problem though, I don't mind having to dodge, look at all the buffs. Whoa, he's getting all schmuppy in here. You think he's gonna, like, pass out? This is cool, but a touch long. <laughs> in any other game, I'd be loving- Wow, that sucked. That gave me no time to hit him. What does he do when you're that close? This is frustrating. A little bit. Just a touch. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to get one shot by really heavy hitting melees. But I don't want to stay too far away because then I'll just promote this for ages, which is kind of tedious. Come on, dude. Here we go. I want to hit his face as he comes back. That would have worked if I'd have used a triangle and timed it. There you go. 
a million different elemental stuff. It's a visually really interesting fight, but it's also pretty standard. It's just very long. And I could be hitting his, his like, shaft. <laughs> his belly. Wow, the board does surprisingly good decent damage. That was a dropped input. I'm not uh, having that. Wow, you do incredible damage on this bit. That's better. I missed. I think it's because I shot him. Wasn't happy. It does. Wow. That was a bad dodge, it seems. I might space that because there's no way he can hit you at the other side of this. When I see it, I'm going to run backwards. That was really lucky, by the way. Two opportunities to hit then. This snake is really weak as well. I'm just terrible at. Wow! The gun does redonkulous damage. You don't even have to do this. You don't even have to compete. <laughs> I wish I'd have realized that. And is it the execution move? It is. Oh, that would be cool if you did this on more bosses. That's some Ninja Gaiden 3, but it kind of looked awful compared to Ninja Gaiden 3. That's one of the good things about Ninja Gaiden 3. Just you watch though, guys. Nobunaga Oda is now going to be on a flying dragon carrying a sun, and he's going to be throwing, like, red dwarfs at us. It's going to just escalate from here. That looks awesome. That was a cool fight. I scrubbed it out with healing, but that's just because I was terrified of bad checkpoints. So GG, those um, Shin Shinguki medicines, or whatever they're called, Shigekus. Ooh. It is not over. Good. I'm going to farm the tits off this boss. Look at these. I've never even seen that colour before. Divine item. That's my first divine item. So the greens exist. Like, awesome coloured greens. Like, There you go. That's a level 150. Damn. Is it going to give you one of every weapon? Yeah, it is. So has that unlocked the cap now? On Ooh. Look at this place. This is peaceful looking. This is a beautiful zone. This would be a nice place to fight. Can I go over here? I can. Wow, that texture did not get enough love. Look at how good this rock looks. Then look at how bad this rock looks. And then look at how bad that looks. Let's not look at that. Let's look there. That looks beautiful, right? We keep looking that way. All the, the god rays. The shimmering on the sea. Beautiful. What the hell did I just pick up? I not even see. How far can I go out here? Not very far. This is the place I'd like to see some one-on-one -on -one duels. Maybe this is where Genshin is in the bonus levels. That'd be great. There he is. Can I, uh, can I sit on him? With a funny gesture. That'd be appropriate, right? You can do high fives on yourself. Oh, I wonder if they high five each other. That was my idea for Titanfall. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. We're dead together. It's done, guys. We failed. It's like the end of Face Off. Quick, let's try and cut our faces off with that piece of plexiglass or whatever it was. Anyway. Enough procrastinating. So is that it then? Or is there more? Do not record the ending, wanker. What 
is that thing? I don't want this one. Damn, he stabbed its head into his chest. All this because they nicked his fairy. Edward Kelly, you will go to Japan. Oh, he's the real mastermind. Ooh, sequel. As you command, Sir D. D? All of this country's Amrita are being taken to him. Wow, the sequel bit is strong in this one. Oh, interesting. It's um, Dr. Giro. He's making Perfect Cell with Amrita. So this guy was just a po an apostle, or some sort of disciple for that other person. There could be hundreds of this guy. Not worthless. So what was so special about the fairy then? Why was she the key to everything? Because if he'd not nicked her, we wouldn't have been involved, and his conquest would have been fine. Are they a couple? I don't get it. Oh, here we go. Do you think he's trying to have sex with it? Because I know I would have. But that's just because I'm perverted and impulsive. Chosen. Why is he special? So that name was Irish. So is she, are they speaking Irish? Desire. I assume Ireland has a, a native language. Is it like Gaelic or something? I don't, I don't know. That's how ignorant I am of my uh, neighbour there. War is over. With the ninja to span now. No. There are still rocks. Full mean load. Yes, her. Ninja will serve as long. Oh, interesting. He said that name. I couldn't say. What about you? I won't trouble you again. Will disappear. I have no desire to be killed. Oh, damn. Do you think that Hattori Hanzo then had a, had a rule, like a, a mission to potentially put us down? Because now we're the most threatening thing in the game, aren't we, now that that's gone? Oh, she's still thinking about the fall, is she? <laughs> well, we cupped her ass. Totally worth it. Does she want to go with him? You're full of shit! You can't believe that. You've got a heart of gold, son. Don't let them take it from you. I love how they gave a reason for her not to have her shoes on. That was my favourite part of the game. Other than they were inside and it's Japan. That's also a good reason. Oh, 
太平の礎を築くことができた諸将の調略あやかしの重複こたびの戦さ。Your unflagging support? Unflagging? Unflagging? I've not heard that term. ありがたきお言葉あんじわしにもしたこたびの戦における異国の者どものあやかしの騒ぎそして霊石の存在を知る者も,ももはやおりませぬ There you go, guys. This is how it really happened. He doesn't seem upset, does he? Come on now, he saw him as a threat. Straight up. Is he the true final boss, this dickhead? Mitsunari? He's gonna be executed, interesting. This is the part where Tom Cruise gets angry at them for chopping the heads off of downed men. Them swords must have been so bloody sharp, dude. You can't even imagine how sharp they must have been. This must have really happened then, this one would think. Because in video game land, he would have intervened and saved him and shit. Oh, he knew. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't such a bad guy, he just killed his own kid for no reason other than power. Stupid cats. <laughs> Damn. Fumihiko Yasuda. Remember these names, guys. These names are important. I mean, it'll be impossible because they'll look the bloody same, but you know what I mean. Wow. I have issues with this game. I have issues with every game, but that was fucking amazing. That was really, really special, that. Level design, look at that. It's a small amount of people. Enemy AI in combat design, small amount of people. What the hell is this? Wow, this is a bit out of place, is it not? Damn. Where did this come from? I was hoping for something different. I can't talk over this. This is clearly too precious. So when I review this game, which I'm gonna do, because it deserves it, there's two things that jump out at me as being very interesting points of contention to speak about. The first one is, I think they showed too much with betas and alphas. To me, personally. But it's proof that the beta and alpha system they used hyped the hell out of this game. Because this game is selling like hotcakes. It's sold out in some places. Everybody's buying it. Everybody's excited. This is a killer exclusive for PlayStation. There's no doubt about it. A lot of people are burnt out on Souls games, but they still like that formula. Oh, here are the voice actors. Friend request received by that guy. Howdy, dude. Um, 
Ben Peel. I've never heard of that guy, but he, I think he did okay. And then a bunch of Japanese guys. But as I was saying, it proves that the way that it was presented by giving us that teaser, but not letting you play too much, keeping that formula familiar, but making it its own thing, i.e. Neo, is what people are really, really resonating with. And it's quality too, all put together in a package that's got a lot of length, a lot of replay value, a horrible credit song, which just doesn't stand as anything that should be here, but it is, alas. This is exactly what people have been waiting for. I would say this is better than Dark Souls 3. But that's just because it's new. The things I like about this are things that aren't Wind Souls. And the things that I hate about this are things that are from Souls. So it's such an interesting thing. It's something to ruminate on, because right now I'm kind of all in the moment. But I think they showed too much with the beta. Here's my reasoning, right, guys? There's like four enemies in the game I didn't know. The rest I knew, and I knew kind of how to fight them. And they still fucked me up, because it's a tough game. But I knew them. I knew, I knew what they were. They weren't surprises. There were slight iterations on them. But I don't think there was enough. Did you notice how there was like seven different versions of Yokai? But yet those wheel demons that I hate, there was no electric version of that. There was no water version of that. There was no gravity version of that, which is of course Earth, and I keep fucking that up. They could have been different shapes. They could have had different properties. One could have been slow, casting tons of magic. The other one could have, you know, had a massive radius or something. One could have been triangle, and it could have been really dodgy, speeded wheel that didn't do much, and, and was random and fell over all the time, like a novelty one. They had the different colour mapping for the Medusa heads, but that was the only real enemy. And everything else we'd killed. All the new stuff, novelty boss, guy on the bridge. You know, woman who freezes you. Interesting and cool, but I hate that sloth because it's trash. And then that weird spellcaster guy. That's like all the new things. Everything else they showed us before the game had come out. So they kind of blew their load in a lot of ways, I think, with that. Which is really, really interesting of a choice. And then the second thing of contention for me is that I feel that the game is incredibly unbalanced and I don't know if they're going to do anything about it. Because let's face it, Ninja Gaiden's never really got patched because they came from a period of development where patches weren't really a thing. They became a thing, but they're expensive. So a lot of the trash that was in Ninja Gaiden and a lot of the broken stuff remained in Ninja Gaiden. So will they take that approach or will they do the whole going full hog with this Dark Souls, you know, impression of a Feudal Japan Ninja Gaiden-esque game. I don't know. Because Sloth is broken. Sloth will break this game completely. You can slow bosses so that their moves are, are so slow you can just walk to the side of them and beat them up while they're doing it. And there's nothing they can do when it works on everybody. Spears have no weakness. They are completely broken. There is no downside to using spears. They're the best weapon in the game. They take no effort. You can poke everything completely safe out of their range. It doesn't make sense that there's no downside to spears. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Wonderfully broken weapon ruins the game. Armor sets. Heavy armor seems to be kind of really strong. And so it should be. But it needs a downside. It needs either stat investment or, or something else. Because as it stands... It's preposterous. There's a lot of aspects of this game. It's easy to level up. It's easy to over level. And as much as they inflate the damage, you can still compensate a lot of that. And it's going to take away from the appeal of the charm and the challenge that a lot of people are looking for. So definitely food for thought. Something to think about. And I'm curious to see how it works. Oh, wow. So we got... That girl. I'm going to call her Sharon. We got the fairy. Is she really good, do you think? Is she like the best one? Do I have all the guardian spirits now? That'd be cool. Post credits. More sequel bait. Watch it be uh, Sir Anjan in America. 
Just shooting guns and being a cowboy. No, it's back to the menu. At last I have defeated Kelly and taken back uh with a weird name. However, there is still something I must do. Mission change to Twilight. Okay. Oh, whoa, look at the boat. There's another main mission. The Queen's Eyes. We're not done. Or are we done? I can't tell. We watched the credits. We're bound to be done. Look at that. Meeting on the other shore. What is that? Something to fight in that place. Hmm. Can I not go back to the other region? I'm in that region, apparently. Was that the final bit? The Demon King revealed, yeah. Okay, so there's going to be a bonus video because I want to see what this is, guys. Cool.